good evening everyone welcome to the third homework third presentation on the homework portal on um, we are now currently discussing problems on electricity okay let me share my screen just give me a moment right i hope you have done the previous problems that was being given earlier and uh, yesterday's problems the solutions for them were already been shared by 3:30 pm today and now <clears throat> i am a bit late because i came home a bit late i had some other work so anyway let us continue with the five problems that i have promised today so that you can get the solution for these problems tomorrow right uh now right now the questions are as such especially these questions are mcqs which are catered for the ibdp program or igcse program are a and <clears throat> a and as levels so and all these questions have been taken from the ibdp papers only now let us solve this each of the resistors in the arrangement shown below has a resistance r and each arrangement is connected in turn to a power constant power of supply of constant emf and negligible internal resistance in which arrangement is the current in the power supply greatest so you have been given some resistors how many resistors here you have four resistors here you have four resistors and here also you have four resistors so in every circuit you see there are four resistors and then if i connect a power supply of a constant potential difference of a constant emf okay the same voltage for example let me take say 10 volts i am connecting here or maybe here or maybe here and so on and here and so on then in that case in which of these circuits do you think the current <coughs> in the power supply is greatest which of them will withdraw which of them will draw a larger amount of current this is what you need to find out there are methods for it i have already taught you in the class think about it now if you want i can just give you a clue saying that note that there are four resistors in series here this is a hybrid circuit one resistor here two in parallel and one resistor once again here there are four parallel resistors and once again there are four parallel resistors over here that is two parallel then this becomes series then two parallel once again one more and then you connect them in series and so on okay i have just told you the method of simplification now it is left to you like how do why do i need to simplify this or what is it i get from it and how do i find the current and which of these current is maximum right so application of series resistance parallel resistance and finding out the current using ohms law so this is what you have think about it and try it only okay let us move on to the next one which of the following is a statement of ohms law now there are four statements given here i am not going to state this the ohms law you can yourself try it out and get to know about it so read the question carefully and then try to put it across okay many of you had committed a mistake in the class also um so just have a look at it as i had explained why certain rules are not possible certain rules are possible okay next in a circuit shown the fixed resistor has a value of 3 ohms what is this and uh, the variable resistor has a range from 0 to 9 ohms so find the potential difference today i had did this one now okay then the power supply has an em of 12 volt and the negligible internal resistance as a result of this what is the difference between the maximum and minimum values of voltage v across the 3 ohm resistor so that's what is been asked so think about it how this can be answered it's very easy so if you just put your thoughts you will be able to see see there is something given over here 0 to 9 this answers everything think about it okay then what is been asked the minimum and maximum values what are the voltages how do you measure the voltage over here which you already know okay i thought you about this what method what formula how do you do it and so on think about it then a cell of emf 4 volt and negligible internal resistance 4 volt and negligible no internal resistance are shown and two resistors of 2 ohms are connected in parallel and in series with resistance of 1 ohm when what power is dissipated one of the 2 ohm resistors in the whole circuit what is the power dissipated in one of the 2 ohm resistor and in the whole circuit 
There is a 2 ohm here. 2 ohm is here, not here. Okay. So therefore, what is the power dissipated either here or here? And what is the total power dissipated? Okay. Don't be in a hurry. Think about it clearly, get a clarity and then solve it. Okay. So it's given here. Power dissipated in a 2 ohm resistor, you have to choose one of this option. Power dissipated in the whole circuit, this one here. So somewhere, okay. So you need to work out both the things and then finally get the answer. Okay. Let us move on to the next one. An electrical circuit is shown with loop X and Y. Where is loop X and loop Y? Loop X and loop Y. Okay, this is Y over here. See, which means this is the loop. This is a loop Y and this whole thing is loop X. Okay. What is the correct expression for Kitchar circuit's law for loop X and junction Y? Then see, what is he asking? What is the correct expression for Kitchar's circuit loss? How many circuit loss are there? There are two circuit loss, right? So for loop X, which means what? This whole loop, if I consider, what is the answer? And if I consider junction Y, what is junction Y? When I say loop, which means you are talking about the Kitchoff's voltage law. When I say junction, you are talking about the Kitchoff's current law. So this is the Kitchoff's current law here. Okay. So based on this, you need to arrive at an expression and then compare it with this. Uh, this, I hope you will get it easily, but this you need to do a bit carefully. Okay. Understand what is the loop. See, somewhere... The loop is also given over here. See, big loop is given. Now decide how should the loop be. Okay. So there's a bit twist over here. But anyway, I, I think with a little bit of thinking, you will be able to get the answer. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Fluor's friends, and uh, for being with me in this journey. And uh, hope you do all the problems. And tomorrow you will be able to see the solution. Thank you once again. If you really like this video, do share and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.